Let's talk about shockwave therapy as a treatment modality for erectile dysfunction. So shockwave essentially refers to ultrasound waves that are used to target the blood vessels to the penis to induce some type of regeneration for men with an arterial-based erectile dysfunction, meaning they're not getting enough blood supply to the penis. Now, ultrasound waves uh, are very safe. We use them all the time in medicine, uh, mainly for, for diagnostic purposes, but there is a thought that ultrasound waves can induce some regeneration if done in the appropriate clinical setting. Now, for erectile dysfunction, there have been a series of clinical trials published on this and the results have been mixed. Some trials have shown that there is no difference between the shock wave and a placebo treatment and some trials have shown that there is an improvement in the shock wave group compared to the placebo group. Notably, the larger trials haven't really shown a statistically significant difference, but the smaller trials did show a statistically significant difference and the jury is still out. So there's still no urological associations that, that recommend this treatment as a standard treatment modality and the FDA doesn't approve it as a standard treatment modality. So there's no insurance companies that are going to pay for this or help cover this whatsoever. So these clinics that offer this shockwave therapy are running a, a cash only business essentially where patients are paying out of pocket to have this, this treatment and there's no guarantee that it's going to work. And uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the benefit, whether it works or not, is coming from a placebo effect. And we know very well that there's a strong placebo effect in almost any medicine, but especially in erectile dysfunction where there's a strong psychological component to it. And the patient is financially invested in this treatment that probably increases it. So that's not to say that uh, this shockwave doesn't work, that it doesn't actually regenerate the, the blood supply, but it's just that the, the evidence still is, is not out there yet. So the reason that the, the clinical groups like the American Urological Association and the European Urological Association haven't uh, recommended this treatment isn't because they have anything against ultrasounds, it's just because they don't want people to undergo a treatment that doesn't have the, the data to, to show that, that it's efficacious. Now, if you are a patient that, that is considering this, this treatment, it's not, it's not unreasonable to try, but it should be done in a very controlled setting. The recommendation is if you're going to do any sort of alternative or regenerative treatment for erectile dysfunction, it should be done in the setting of a clinical trial. Now, what that means is that, number one, the results from your, from your trial should be published uh, in a medical journal, and that obviously works to help advance science and advance medicine, and it's a very noble thing to do. But two, it also ensures that the clinical trial that you're doing is ethical for the patients. So before starting any type of trial on human patients, you have to have approval from uh, basically an ethics board that says that yes, what you're, what you're trying to do, what you're proposing is reasonable and it's ethical to try. It's, it's safe enough that it's, it's worth, worth trying. And three, you also have to have enough money that you're funding this trial. These trials aren't, aren't cheap to, to conduct. And basically as a patient, if you are doing these treatments in the setting of, of a clinical trial, it ensures you that the people doing the trial are, are legitimate, they've thought about this, they've gotten approval for this, they've gotten funding for this, and they're doing it the right way. If you're going to do it that way, then I say go for it, it's totally reasonable to do. Unfortunately, that's not how it happens 99% of the time. Almost every time what happens is somebody hears a, a radio commercial about this awesome new treatment and they go to a clinic that is often not run by a urologist and sometimes not even run by an MD. It's just a group that has decided that they're, that they're going to do this. And whether or not they're, they're legitimate or not, who knows? It could be some, some backyard operation. I have no way of, of knowing. So. I really caution patients to spend their hard-earned money on these things without the evidence to support it unless they're doing it in the setting of a clinical trial. So 
If you're a patient and you're considering this, I just caution you to do it the right way. Mm -hmm.